the last 90% silver dollar struck for circulation was the peace dollar. And inside of the peace dollar series, 1921 to 1935, are some very special coins. We've talked about many of them in the past. But tonight, for the first time in over a year, I can bring out a circulated pair. For those of us who need to put a spot into our collection. And these coins, are they special? And the reason why we need a spot in our collection is because these coins, in uncirculated condition from my competitors, the 26D north of 300, the 27D north of 500. So finding quality circulated coins is a difficult task. But again, the peace dollar was struck between 1921 and 1935. Actually 28, we took a hiatus, and then we brought it back in 34 and 35. A short series, 24 coins in all. Theirs were P's, theirs were S's, and then there were a couple of Denver's. Denver is the one they only struck a few of, five of them to be exact. And that's why you can't find them in the marketplace. Also because of the mint mark on the reverse. Denver didn't strike a Morgan dollar in the original 27 year suite, which is 1878 to 1904. Their first was in 1921. They didn't have a big die punch so they used smaller, and they carried it forward with the Peace Dollar series. Below the word one on the left, slide down the back of the eagle. At the end of the tail feather is that D mint mark. That's special. Now, as referenced, the Denver coins are special outright. There are very few of them. The 27D is the lowest mintage figure in the entire Denver series. And the 26, you just don't find it. It's number three on the depth chart. So both very special. As referenced, they're 90% silver dollars. They were struck for circulation. These are coins that were in circulation. All of ours are hand selected. I mean, how many have you seen over the years that just look like they've been out there, right? They all have a homogeneous look, obverse and reverse, which is a big thing because we've also seen coins where the one side looked gorgeous, the other side not so, right? But here's the best part. Here's the best part. If you look at the coins themselves, the early years, which were 1922, 1923, even in the 24 and 25, right before these two came out, look at the mintage figures on these gorgeous coins. And then you look at these two. As I referenced, number three on the depth chart is the 26D, that coin, at 2.3 million. But that one's the Holy Grail the lowest mint to Denver at 1.2 versus 30 or 40 million. Yet they all sell for the same price in circulated condition. Can anybody explain that? Well, the reason why we know it's not out there on a regular basis is because we can't find the coins because very few of them were made. Competition, 119 on the 26 and 149 on the 27. Look at our price, $69.95. Any way you slice it, it's just great, great stuff. Now this design, many of you that have collected the silver dollars, the vintage silver dollars, know of the Morgan, right? The Wild West coin. And then we had that hiatus from 1904 until 1921 when they brought in a new silver dollar, this peace dollar. The idea was, the coin renaissance of President Theodore Roosevelt, the Rough Rider Roosevelt. And the first coins they changed were the gold coins, right? The St. Gaudens, 10 and 20 in 1907, the Bella Leon Pratt's in 1908 because St. Gaudens got sick. And then we had the cent changeover in 09, the Buffalo Nickel in 13. The big year was 1916 when we changed over the Mercury Dime, the dime, we changed over the Standing Liberty Quarter, and then we changed over the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, because all three of those used to be a barber design, all the same design. And then the last coin in the Renaissance, the changeover, was the Peace Dollar, this design. And they went modern. If that looks familiar, it's because they used the Statue of Liberty look on the obverse. When you think of America, you think of the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor, right? And that's the look. And then the reverse, very poignant. This is again the peace dollar, celebrating the end of the war of all wars at that time in history, World War I. And it's an eagle on a mountaintop overlooking the pond with 
olive branches in its talons. Again, we're here, we're watching, we prefer peace. Very poignant. And that was it. The transition of all of our coinage to a new worldly look becoming the worldly power at that particular time, evolving, right? 1926 celebrated our 150th anniversary as a nation, and we were growing and growing and growing, right? Well, these are the largest silver coins ever struck. It was the last series ever struck. The peace dollars again ended in 1935. We pulled gold from circulation in 1934. We pulled silver dollars from circulation in 1935. And the rest is history. Yes, they made silver Eisenhowers. Everybody always said, hold it, they made silver Ikes. And your answer is 100%. But they made them for collectors. They were never released in the circulation. And those are the San Francisco onks and proofs. These are the last coins that were intended for circulation. These were meant for us to carry in pocket change. And we didn't like it, because the Eisenhowers that were copper clad didn't last long, did they? 71 to 78. Paper was much easier. But I'm sorry, today I think we'd all love to have the silver back, right? I know I would. But these are the Denvers, the Denvers, the 26D number three, 27D number one. Hand selected, circulated were my competition again at 119 and 149 respectively, 26 to 27. Our price, your choice. And again, the your choice means, hey, you can only afford one right now? I get it. Pick the one that works for you. If you already have a 26, then 27 should be for you, or vice versa, right? But you don't have to buy both to get the low price, which is where a lot of my competitors are. Guys, we got to put a one minute clock up. We're down to single digits on the 27D. We're not that far behind on the 26D. Again, we call it your choice for one reason. We want you to be, I mean, we're collectors at heart here, period. And we understand that we'd love to have the price, but sometimes we have to buy 10 or 20 of something to get the price. Not here. Always going to be the lowest price. Join us. AVCcoins.com. Phones are a bit busy right now. They just pop that up in the bottom right to remind me to tell you it's always there to help order if you so wish. Whether it's your smartphone, your laptop, or your home computer, just don't miss out. That 27 is going to sell out, everybody. So if it's in your shopping cart, push it through, lock it down. It's a joint inventory. In uncirculated condition, over 300 on the 26D, over 500 on the 27D. Beautiful coins. Love them but the affordable collector version, if and when you can find them, are all over 100. Again, our competition at 119 and 149, respectively. Great alternative, as always, is here on ABC. Look at our prices, look at the coins, give us a call.